Hello friends, welcome to this interview series. Let me tell you the format of this series. So I'll show you one question and then you have to think upon like what is the answer of that question. After that, I will run the program and show you the output. Then we will discuss what is the concept and reason behind the output that we are getting. So let's start now. So we have this question. Now A is given as 10 and B is initialized with 30 and there is third variable data which is initialized with 236. And then we have used some printf statements which are printing the some message or some values of those variables. So you have to check what is the output of this program. So you can pause the video and you can check. I hope you have got the solution. So let's run this program first. This is our code. Let's see what is the output. So we are getting the output as hello, then a equal to 5, then 236, then b equal to 4. So we can just relate it like from this statement we are getting like hello, then from here we are getting a equal to 5, from here we are getting as 236, as data contain 236. And here we are printing the b variable and we are getting as 4. So let's see how we are getting this all output. So here we are given a equal to 10, b as 30 and the third variable data as 236. Now we are printing the hello using printf hello statement. So here we'll write our output. So printf hello as you know will print hello. So we write hello. Now there is a concept behind this. Now there is a concept behind this question. Printf is a function and it returns a integer value. And what is that integer value? So printf returns the number of characters it successfully prints on the output screen or the console. So here printf is printing how many characters? H E L L O has five characters. So it is printing five characters on this output screen. So it will return those integer value and it will store inside A. So it will say I have printed five characters on the screen, so I am returning that. So A will contain five. So this A now will contain five. So here this printer statement is printing A equal to five. So in this same line, A equal to five. And after that there is a slash in, so we will come here for the next output. Now here we will print the value of the data. So data contains the value. 236. So 236 will be printed. Now 236 has three characters that is 2, 3, 6. They are total three characters. So printf will say I have printed three characters on the screen. So it will return three. But no, there is a space also here. So we have to see that space also. So actually printf has printed four characters. How? See, data contains 236, 236. So, 236 is printed. Now, there is a space also. So, actually, here a hidden space will be there and the cursor will come here. So, total it has printed 236 and space. That is, total 4 character has been printed. So, 4 will be stored inside this B. So, that means this will contain 4. Now here we are printing b equal to the value inside b. So the output will be b equal to 4. This 4. So this is how we were getting the output as this shown here. So I hope you have got the idea. So like printf, scanf function also return an integer value and to know more about that you can watch my another video that what is the return value of the scanner. So thank you for watching 
एंड गुड बाय